RT in action. We're gonna take, and you take a look at this light right now with no light on. Now we're gonna take a look at it with the light on. Okay. And real quick, we're gonna show you the other side with no light on. And now we're gonna give it light. Can you tell me? Do you see a difference? Because I surely do. All right, we're gonna do the other one now. Okay, now we're gonna apply the polish. As you've seen before, with the light off and the light on, before we do the polishing, this is how you do it. Put it on low. And what we're doing is we're applying the polish on the whole light assembly here. Move it slow. Make sure we're getting the polish in all the corners. And as you can see, there must be plenty of polish on here because the whole light is covered. Now, we start to give it a little more RPM. Pushing it to high now. Now, we're going to give it some polishing. This is a relatively new cone that I found at your uh, local auto parts place. And it has this here cone that is really great for these corners. Compared to the one I had before, which is a round doorknob looking one. So I'm just finding out myself how great this is for these corners. Not applying that much pressure right now. I'm satisfied with the coating of it like that. When you push the harder you push, you're applying that more polish on that area. And switch it over. Same thing, applying that pressure and spread the unused polish on the bulb here. And it doesn't hurt the body paint at all. Okay, now here we go. It's on the bottom. Do the outside edges first so you can get them prepared for doing the whole rest of the life. Now, I'm getting the in set finish. Get it on the whole outside of the life. Okay, now I'm going to work the polish in. More pressure. You see, as I put the pressure on, how it leaves the polish behind. Eventually, the polish will disappear. And you'll soon see that. Okay, now here we go. We're gonna do the cleanup part of it now. professional do it yourself okay then watch the magic there you go check out this magic
about this, guys? Check this out. Unbelievable finish. Uh, no magic touch. Just a magic appearance. All right, still color scheme. Doing the final touch here. As you can see, anybody can do this. You got the time and the will. You can do it just like that. As you can see, coming out beautiful. Give it a Find you some polishing wax, polish, or plastic. Get yourself one of these little cones, or even a larger bottle will work this time. So there's the finishing touches before I wipe the little micro dust off. Okay, finished up the polishing, doing the final wipe. As you can see, this is the stuff that you need. How about that? Not anybody can do it. We're doing the final polishing touch right here. As you can see, it's not that hard to do, but if you get yourself some of this and a cone, wonders. It's amazing. Well, I'm gonna finish this up now. If you wanna watch a little bit more, you can see how oh, nice it's coming out. And trust me, this is not the one day stuff. This lasts for a while. That's the beautiful thing about it. Yeah, ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. All right, doing the final touch of the final wipe job here. But get yourself some of this polish, a drill, and a nice pad, and go to town. Yahoo!